This is an emergency video, my friends. I was not going to make another chess video today, but this is incredible, and I have to talk about it because the game which you are watching on your screen right now and which concluded only moments ago ended very dramatically when the reigning world champion of chess, Ding Loren, who has the black pieces, missed a checkmate in two moves against Magnus Carlsen playing white. And it all began with this English type opening here where, you know, Ding Loren is doing just fine. Carlsen puts his knight on g5 here, getting ready to push with f4. And so we had bishop e7, f4, and then Ding Loren goes for some counterplay over here on the queen side. Okay, so what happens is we have g4. You know, he's beginning, you know, a potential pawn storm over here. Ding Loren expanding on the queen side. We got b3 backing up the c pawn. Pawn takes, pawn takes. Okay, rook to b6. Maybe going to double rook someday, adding some defense to that knight on c6. The knight jumps into e4. Knight takes, knight takes, bishop b7. Okay, here we go with f5. Now, this is interesting. As black, you might think it's good to push, you know, but then what happens here is g5. So Ding Loren didn't go for that. You know, this is scary looking. Instead, he says, you know what? I need to get rid of that pawn. e takes f5, g takes f5. But the consequence of that is, is that this pawn is now isolated and kind of weak. It can be targeted. Knight to e5 played here. The bishop pins the knight to the queen. Okay, the knight's backed up with the f pawn. Okay, so the rook gets on the open file there. Bishop takes out that knight on e4 because it was very nicely posted. Queen takes, and it looks like the queen is maybe going to look to pick up that pawn. But you can't do it yet. After bishop to d6, Magnus Carlsen knows that he's got to move his king off this diagonal here. If you were to take that pawn on d4, then bishop c5 would pin the queen to the king, and white would be finished. So Carlsen first gets the king off of that diagonal. Queen to c5 from Ding Loren. We got bishop to g3, looking for maybe bishop f2 and target the pawn again. The rook gets on that file there to add some potential defense to that pawn. The queen drops back. Now the bishop's opened. We have ideas of bishop d5 check. Looking nice. Knight goes to d7 here. Okay, now the bishop putting some pressure on that pawn, but the bishop here, since that knight moved, is now able to get onto e5 there and defend. Bishop d5 check. The king moves. And now here we have Queen to h5, setting the stage for the incredible blunder. You will probably be able to figure out what Carlsen played after queen to f8, rook to e4, and here Ding Loren really needed to play h6. But he, oblivious to the danger, somehow, despite the fact that he's the reigning world champion, played rook to b2. And I will give you two seconds to figure out what Magnus Carlsen played here. This is Tactics 101. And yes, he played queen takes h7 check, prompting resignation from Ding Loren, who realized to his utter horror and shock that if he were to capture that queen, rook to h4 is checkmate. So an unbelievable and dramatic finish to this round, what is this, round six encounter between Magnus Carlsen and Ding Loren in the Norway chess tournament. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.